Friends, as you know that in reverse forward starter, we use two contactors and only one of the two contactors should start at a time. We have to do wiring in this way. Similarly, if you have two different motors and you have to run only one of the two motors at a time, then in this condition also, you have to do interlocking between the two contactors. So how do we do interlocking? Let's understand this. See, contactors I have here, to operate this contactor, I have to provide neutral power supply. So I connected the neutral power supply to the A2 terminal of these two contactors. As you can see, there is A2 terminal here and there is A2 terminal here. So I have connected the neutral power supply to these two terminals. Now the interlocking here will depend on your logic. For example, if someone tells you that after starting this contactor, then in this condition, this contactor should be switched off. You have to do such interlocking wiring. So understand the question here, you will understand the wiring. See, at the moment, it is being said that if we start this MCB, then this contactor should start. And after starting this contactor, if someone starts this contactor, then in this condition, this contactor should be switched off automatically. So to do such wiring, what we will simply do is that our phase supply wire here, I have connected this wire to the phase terminal of MCB. Now take this wire and go to the NC contact of the other contactor. As you can see, there is no NC contact on this contactor at the moment. So in this condition, we will use the Adam block. The device you are seeing here is known as Adam block. If you look on this Adam block, there is a NC contact here. So we will use this NC contact to interlock this contactor. So what I'm going to do here is I'm mounting this NC contact on top of this contactor. See, I'm using the NC contact of this contactor here because at the moment, question is that it is being said that after starting this, this should automatically stop. So that is why we will use the NC contact of the second contactor here. So what I will do is I take this wire and connect it directly to the NC contact of this Adam block. Now to the output terminal of this NC contact, we will connect a wire as I have connected this wire. Now we will take the other end of this wire and this contactor that we want to start connect this wire to the A1 terminal of this contactor. So I have connected this wire here. You can see the complete wiring here. Now if I start this MCB, you will see that this contactor has gone into the on condition. Now if someone starts this contactor by mistake, you will see that this one goes off. When this contactor is released, it is in on condition and when this contactor is started, it is off. Here our contactor is starting directly because we have used the MCB here to connect. If you use the push button to start this contactor, like if your contactor starts by pressing the start push button, then in this condition, as soon as you press this, like we have pressed this, then if this contactor is off, then it will go completely off. Like you can understand a little through the animation here. So as you can see here that I have two motors here. To start and stop these two motors, I have done power wiring here and control wiring here. Right now what I will do is that I start these two motors. So as you can see, I can start both the motors at the same time according to this circuit diagram. Now, if you are told that first motor here, this motor, if we start this motor, I have started this motor. If we start this motor, then in this condition, if someone comes and start this second motor, then the first motor will automatically stop. So if someone wants to do such wiring, what will you do in this condition? The second motor here, the contactor you have used to start this motor, the NC contact of that contactor, like the NC contact of this contactor is here, so we can take this contact and connect it here. Or if you want, you can connect it at this point or at this point also. You just have to keep in mind that you have to connect your NC contact at such a place so that the entire circuit is closed. So what I do here is that I am connecting this NC contact at this point. So I deleted this wire from here and connected it directly here. So after connecting, if I start the power supply here and if I turn on the first motor after starting, then in this condition, you will see that the first motor has started. Now if I start the second motor, then in this condition, my second motor will start but my first motor went into off condition. This motor is automatically turned off because the NC contact that I used here is the NC contact of this contactor. And if this contactor is operated, then in this condition, this NC contact will open and due to opening, it will not allow the power supply to flow further. Like if I press the start push button, then you will see that only till this red line phase supply is coming. 
the phase supply is not able to go below this point because the contact here is in open condition due to which the power supply is not able to flow further. So if we want to interlock this contactor then in this condition we will use the NC contact of the other contactor. So if we start this then in this condition the NC contact of this contactor will open and due to opening first motor went into off condition. So you have understood one interlocking here. Now if someone comes to you and says that if you start this second motor and after this if someone start the first motor then the first motor will start but the second motor will stop. If you want to do such wiring then you will do the wiring in the same way. What you have to do here simply is that the NC contact here will not be connected here. I will delete this from here and after deleting it I will make this NC contact of this contactor. As I have written here its name is KM1 which means this is the NC contact of this contactor. Now this circuit will remain normal but we will add interlocking to this circuit. The interlocking will be of this contactor. So I will bring the NC contact of this contactor and connect it here. As I remove this wire from here and after that this NC contact here, I am connecting this NC contact here. After doing this much connection, you will see that to start this motor, I press the start button and it started. Now if I start this motor, then this motor started and the second motor went into off condition. Now if I try to start the second motor, then it will not start. Because right now the contactor here, to start this, motor is in on condition and we have used its NC contact here. This NC contact is open at the moment and as it is open, the power supply is not allowed to flow forward. So you can understand how we will do the interlocking between two contactors. Okay guys, let's see the interlocking practically. So in this wiring, we have made a connection to start this contactor. So to operate this contactor, phase supply which we provided, I am removing this phase supply from here and after this connect this wire to the A1 terminal of this contactor. After connecting this wire, I will remove this atom block from here. I removed it from here and I connected it to the first contactor. So just now we have used the NC contact of the first contactor and the power supply is going through this contactor to start the second contactor. Now if I start the MCB, then the second contactor is in on condition. Now if I start the first contactor, then the second contactor turned off. After releasing this, my contactor has started again. So we have done the interlocking of this contactor with this contactor. So we have understood through single contactor how to interlock the second contactor. Now let's understand how to do interlocking between two contactors in reverse forward starter or star delta starter. That means how to do interlocking when only one contactor is in on condition at a time. You must have seen that in the reverse forward starter we only start the forward or reverse contactors at one time. We do the wiring that only one of the two contactors should start at a time. So if you want to do such an interlocking then what you will do second contactor here like if you want to start this contactor you will use the NC contact of this contactor in this circuit. Similarly power supply which goes to this contactor we will use the NC contact in between this power supply like we used here which is of second contactor. Now we will also do connection to start this contactor. So I will use one more atom block here. I am placing this here. Now to start this contactor we have to do wiring. So what I will do I will connect this phase supply wire directly to the phase terminal of the MCB. Now I will take the other end of this wire and I will connect it to the NC contact of the atom block. Now I will connect one wire to the output terminal of this NC contact. So I connected this wire and now I will take the other end of this wire and contactor here which we want to start connect wire to the A1 terminal. Here is the A1 terminal. So with this terminal connect this wire. Now after doing this much connection both the contactors are interlocked with each other. Let's understand how this interlocking will work. Now I will turn on the MCB. As soon as I turn on the MCB you will see that this contactor has started. Now if I turn on the contactor, you will see that this contactor went in off condition and this contactor is in on condition. Now if I turn on this contactor, then this contactor will go off and this contactor will turn on. So you can see that at a time only one contactor is able to go in on condition. Now I have told you the whole connection of this wiring by directly using the MCB. Let's understand it through animation by connecting it in DOL starter. So in this connection, to interlock this contactor, we have used the NC contact of this contactor. Now contactor here, NC contact of this contactor here, like this one, 
we will connect the NC contact of this contactor here. I have deleted this wire from here and from here the power supply will go to this point and from this point the power supply will go to this point. It means that I have connected the NC contact in series so that the entire power supply breaks through this contact and my starter goes in off condition. So the wiring of interlocking is completed in DOL starter. I have done the interlocking of this starter with this and I have done interlocking of this with this starter. Now let's see it's working. After starting the power supply, I will start the first motor. I have started this motor. Now you will see here that due to starting of this contactor, the NC contact of this contactor is currently in open condition. It means that the circuit is broken here. If I try to start this motor, it will not start here because this contactor is in on condition and we have used its NC contact here. Now if I want to start this contactor in this condition, this motor need to be turned off and after turning it off, I can start this motor, this one. Like if I press this, it has started. Now if this motor is in on condition, so in this condition, it will not be able to start the first motor because you can see here right now the circuit is open. It means that until it is not closed, the power supply cannot flow. No matter how much I press the start push button, it will not start. So to start the first motor, I have to turn off the second motor. After that only, I can start the first motor. So you can see here how we do interlocking between two contactors. So friends, how was this video? Please tell me by commenting in comment box. And if you want to learn how to do interlocking using push button, then comment in the comment box and tell me. If you comment, then I will explain the interlocking of the push button in detail in your comment. Thanks for watching this video.